Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Kaylee McEnany, Fox News host, just went rogue on live television. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please check that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. When you go there, hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. McEnany was sparring with one of the liberals on the show. And they were talking about a whole bunch of issues when the liberal accused Trump of giving anything Putin wanted to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Now, this is very interesting because Putin has made two invasions into Ukraine. The first time was when Putin went into Crimea. Now, that was during the presidency of former President Obama. The second time he went into greater Ukraine, and that was during the presidency of Joe Biden. When he didn't go into Ukraine, well, that was during the presidency of former President Donald Trump. And so McEnany let her have it, and this was a beautiful roast. I want you to watch it, and then let me know what you think in the comments. Let's play. This was his decision to get out of, of Afghanistan and his emphasis on why he made that choice. I came to office as president. Afghanistan had replaced Vietnam as America's longest war. I was determined to end it, and I did. It was a hard decision, but the right decision. Four American presidents had faced that decision, but I was determined not to leave it to the fifth. It was a decision accompanied by tragedy. Thirteen brave Americans lost their lives, along with hundreds of Afghans in a suicide bomb. It was a decision accompanied by tragedy, and it was a tragedy of the Biden administration making Associated Press, not a fluff publication. A wire service says this, Marie, top former U.S. generals say failures of Biden administration in planning drove chaotic fall of Kabul. Putin watched. He invaded Ukraine. Iran watched. They unleashed their proxies. Trump had no new wars, <laughs> no new wars. Peace through strength worked. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot there, obviously, that I, I would take issue with. I think the broad theme of this speech is that the war, the speech today by President Biden is that the world is chaotic and complicated. Mm -hmm. The idea that that's all the fault of the United States is just not accurate. Hezbollah has been... Not of the United States, of Biden. Has, or, or of President Biden. Hezbollah has been a problem for Israel for decades, since Ronald Reagan, since before that. So these are, some of these are decades-old problems that many presidents have dealt with. I think that, look, when it comes to Afghanistan... Every president uh, for several administrations has wanted to get out. Donald Trump negotiated an agreement to get out of Afghanistan. I have said repeatedly that the way it was done was not uh, befitting of the, the service of two decades. And I think the Biden administration would agree with that. The decision to get out was the right one. The way it was done was not. Why can't he say that? But the, I don't know, cause, you know, that's a, that's a... There were parts of it that were done better than others, but that's a hard thing for presidents to admit, I think. But the broader arc the of truth? but the broader that the broader arc of the speech was that when the United States leads, whether it's on protecting Israel, whether it's on going after terrorist organizations, whether it's fighting climate change, this is also climate week here at the UN, whether it's fighting the next global pandemic, that when we lead, the world is safer and more secure. And I've talked to a lot of leaders here since I got here yesterday, and they are terrified that if Donald Trump is in the White House again, we will stop leading on things like climate, on things like Marie, security. but you could assuage their worries by saying, we have a four-year experiment with Donald Trump, and there were no new wars. We have a four-year experiment there were a lot with Donald of problems, Trump. Though, the Kaylee. last year after his call with the head of the Taliban, there was not a single U.S. service member killed overseas. Like you would acknowledge that that's an achievement. I don't think that that's because of Donald Trump's policies. I think there are a number of factors okay. that will go into the ebb and flow of wars and when people are put in harm's way. And I think that, you know, when it comes to something like Ukraine, Vladimir Putin has been invading other countries for decades. On Obama's watch and for on decades. Biden's watch and, and not he, on Donald. And because Donald Trump gives him everything he wants and kowtows to Except dictators. countries. There's one, thing that, there's one thing Donald Trump does not give Putin, and it's countries. That is what happened on Obama's watch. It's what happened on Biden's watch.